Hello and welcome to our personal budget tutorial. In this video, we will guide you through the process of creating a personal budget that suits your lifestyle and financial goals. Creating a personal budget may seem like a daunting task, but it is an essential step towards achieving financial stability and independence. By setting a budget, you can track your expenses, prioritize your spending, and save money for the things that matter most to you. Meet John, a young professional who just started his first job out of college. John wants to start budgeting his money to save for a down payment on a house in the future. He currently earns $4,000 a month after taxes. First, John lists all his sources of income, which include his salary of $4,000 a month. Next, John lists all his expenses. He has a rent payment of $1,200, utilities of $150, a car payment of $300, car insurance of $100, groceries of $400, entertainment of $300, and a gym membership of $50. His total monthly expenses come to $2,500. John decides to use the 50 30 20 rule to categorize his expenses. He allocates 50% of his income, or $2,000, towards necessities such as rent, utilities, car payment, car insurance, and groceries. He allocates 30% of his income, or $1,200, towards discretionary spending such as entertainment, dining out, and his gym membership. Finally, he allocates 20% of his income, or $800, towards savings and debt repayment. Now that John has his categories, he sets a monthly spending limit for each one. For necessities, he will spend no more than $2,000. For discretionary spending, he will spend no more than $1,200. For savings and debt repayment, he will save at least $800 a month. John downloads a budgeting app to help him track his expenses. He inputs all of his expenses into the app and categorizes them accordingly. He sets alerts to notify him when he's getting close to his spending limit for each category. At the end of the month, John reviews his budget to see how he did. He spent $1,200 on necessities, $1,100 on discretionary spending, and saved $700 for his savings and debt repayment category. He's pleased with his progress and decides to adjust his budget for the next month. He decides to allocate an additional $100 towards his savings and debt repayment category. Over time, John continues to adjust his budget as needed. He realizes that he's been spending more than he should on entertainment and decides to cut back. He reallocates some of that money towards his savings and debt repayment category. After a year of budgeting, John has saved $9,600 towards his down payment on a house. He's proud of his progress and grateful that he took the time to create a personal budget. In conclusion, creating a personal budget is an essential step towards achieving financial stability and reaching your financial goals. By following the 50 30 20 rule, setting monthly spending limits, and regularly reviewing and adjusting your budget, you can prioritize your spending, save money, and achieve your financial goals. Whether you're saving for a down payment on a house like John or paying off debt, budgeting can help you get there. Thank you for watching this personal budget tutorial, and we wish you all the best on your financial journey. 